Welcome to Deep Thought. Ignorance really isn't bliss. Ignorance really isn't bliss. I, I got had to repeat that. Because you know the old stereotype, uh, and the statement originally came from the uh, landmark book, 1984, Ignorance is Bliss. And some people have taken that to uh, understand if they don't know something, they'll feel better. And I can see the point of it. I can honestly see the point of it because, you know, when you don't know something, then you're not thinking about it. Okay, okay. But it really isn't bliss. Because, yeah, you can be ignorant of what's going on in general, and it can keep you happy. But let's be real. If When people are ignorant, when they don't know stuff, they're not living a good life. <laughs> Unless they are blessed, and I do mean blessed, with some people who will take care of them, who will make sure they eat, they're clothed, they got some place, and they got some love around them. Ignorance is not bliss, you know? And really, it's one, It's like one of those statements I think people will use but not really, really think about it. Because think about when you're ignorant of stuff. And it, can, it, it don't have to be like some major global thing. Just being ignorant of how stuff works in your home or ignorant of what's going on with yourself. How's that bliss? Like, say you got some pain, and you're trying to ignore it and everything. You don't know what it is. How's that bliss? You're in pain. You need to find out what's going on so you can deal with it. Or when you live in some place and you're not aware. Okay, like, say you got a home in a nice neighborhood, but you also have a criminal in that neighborhood who will bust into your house. There was a neighborhood I lived in, and through some ways, uh, let's just say there were some interesting ways, found out across the street from us, we had a burglar. You know, we had a burglar, and I'll just say there was some stuff done to uh, prevent him from taking a visit, but what if we didn't know that? What if we didn't know what's going on? What if you move someplace and you don't know everything that's going on there? Or what if, what if? You're in a situation, it could be a social circle, it could be where you live, it could be on a job. You got somebody who's actually dangerous. How often have women especially, but some men, gone out with somebody and they were ignorant as to the person's true nature? How's that bliss? You're saying, oh, you don't know this person's a rapist, you don't know this uh, woman's a killer. How's that bliss? Yeah, you feeling good and stuff, but it's a... You know, ain't people could say, well, they didn't know, so they were happy and everything. Yeah, but that's a false bliss. You could get hurt. It could cause you pain. Or what if you get in a relationship with someone and they have negative intentions towards you? And instead of dealing with it, you, you choose to ignore some stuff. Like, I've, known, I've personally known some women who had cheating boyfriends, but they chose, they actually put themselves in a position where... They were ignorant of it. They didn't know what was going on. How is that bliss? Because how is something, not knowing what's happening to you, not knowing what can affect you, you know, that's not bliss because that thing can eventually affect you. If you don't know what's going on in your neighborhood, that can affect you. You got some dangerous individuals, that can affect you. Not knowing that somebody has some negative intentions towards you, that can affect you. That's not bliss. That's falseness. That's a falsehood right there. Ignorance at best is a falsehood if you're going to look at it as something to be happy about. No, ignorance is never a good thing. Let me say that again. Ignorance is never a good thing. You know, you want to have knowledge. You want to have knowledge. You want to know as best as possible what's going on. You know, and now you can't know everything. Like, okay, say you move into some neighborhood. I mean, you could you could look it up. You can actually look up, like, crime statistics in a particular neighborhood. Uh, even, shoot, you can even look up racial background, incomes. It, it The information is right there. And you can still learn as much as possible, but you can't learn. You can't know everything because, you, you know, you still can't read somebody's mind. But you can be open to it. You don't want to go through the world with blinders on. 
You know, you want to be open to new, new things, knowing what's around you. And then there's another type of ignorance. What if you ignorant as to your true talents? Let me say that again. What if you ignorant as to your true talents and who you really are and what you can do? How is that bliss? You sitting around, you don't know what you got buried within you. You don't know yourself. Think about it. You don't know what you got. How's that bliss? I'm going to share something because, you know, like I, I, I'll say it a thousand times. I'm going to say it a, a thousand more times. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm climbing that mountain, too. I'm not the guru or sage at the top of the mountain. I'm climbing, too. You know, there was a I didn't know I could do all of this. <laughs> Ironically, I knew I could speak in front of people, but I didn't think I could do videos. I didn't think it. I didn't know I had the talent within me. I really didn't. And really didn't. How was that bliss when I was like, uh, had to work hard to make a living? You know, all I had was my books and like a full-time job to supplement my uh, publishing. You know, I wasn't living at my best. How was that bliss? What if I'd known this talent what if I'd known what was inside of me with the things I could do? What if I'd known that earlier? I'd be a millionaire now. I would be a millionaire now. Indeed, if I could somehow go back in time and do it all over again, shoot, I would have just jumped into media right away. I would have even tried to major in media. <laughs> I'd have did something, everything media related. Then by the time all this come around, shoot. Y'all, people will be people be online and doing uh, shows talking about my media empire because, you, you know, Ron thinks in terms of global domination. But I didn't know it, you know. And I'm taking advantage of the talents now, but, you know, you being ignorant of what's within you, how's that bliss? It really isn't. Ignorance is just ignorance. Uh, you know, you want to spend all your time trying to know as much as possible. Will you know everything? No. But you need to, at the minimum, know what's going on around you. You know, at the minimum, you need to work to know what's inside of you. Not be ignorant of yourself. Be ignorant of your surroundings. Be you don't want to you don't want to do that. You want to you don't want to have ignorance about whatever can touch your life either immediately or on a global scale. Even a global scale. You want to always be paying attention. You want to as best as possible thinking, okay, this war in this particular country, how's it going to affect me? And you never know. It could be some type of uh, medicine or something that comes from that specific region. And because of the war, that's going to affect your health. That's how deep it is. So ignorance really isn't bliss. I want you all to think about that. And I'll get back with you all later. Peace and blessings.